What are the different types of backups? Before we talk about the different types of backups, let's first remind ourselves about what is a backup. A backup is a copy of your computer data stored elsewhere in case the original data gets lost or becomes damaged. If something goes wrong with the original files, you can then use the backup of those files to restore them. Backups protect your files from being lost when your computer crashes, when you accidentally delete a file, when malware corrupts and removes a file, or even natural disasters or theft when the computer device is completely unavailable permanently. Now let's talk about the different types of backups. A full backup, probably the most common one for the average computer user, is a complete copy of all your data. It's a complete copy of a selection of files and folders or a complete drive. It's the most thorough type, but it takes the longest time and the most storage space. An incremental backup only copies the data that has changed since the last backup of any type. Basically, it copies everything the first time you make a backup, but on the second time, it will only backup the files that were changed or new files that have been added. Then the third backup will only include the new files and the changes made since the second day. This makes it faster and requires less storage space, but restoring your data can be more complicated because you need to piece together the data from the full backup and all the incremental backups. A differential backup copies all the data that has changed since the last full backup. The first time is also a full backup, and the second time is only the changes that have made since the first backup. So at this point, both the incremental and differential backups look the same. But the third backup will be different in that it will contain all the changes since the full backup on Monday. It's faster than a full backup and easier to restore than an incremental backup, but it takes more time and space than an incremental backup. Then we have a synthetic full backup. This backup type is created by combining the previous full backup with all the incremental backups made since then, giving you a full backup without copying all the data again. You have a full backup and your incremental backups as you would using the incremental method. But at some point, let's say Friday in this case, you first combine your full backup with one or more incremental backups to create a newer updated version of your full backup. And then you make the next incremental backup. And this can continue for the next day, creating a newer updated full backup and then backing up the new changes in an incremental backup. A continuous backup or continuous data protection or CDP saves a copy of every change you make to your data as you make them. This is done in real time. This ensures your backup is always up to date, but can use more system resources. Now that we understand about the different types of backups, can you figure out what their advantages and disadvantages are? Because that will help you determine which backup is best for your data. Most backups start with a full backup, but if you want to make a full backup every time you run your backups, then technically you will have the best protection in case your data is lost, as it is an exact copy every time. But it will be more time consuming if you have a lot of data and it will take an exceptional amount of space. If you don't have all the space available and you need to save some time, then an incremental backup might be better. But if you want to restore your data from the backup, then it can be time consuming as you need the full backup of the data and then you need to go through each and every incremental backup to make sure that the data is changed in the correct way to get the most current version. If you are restoring data from a backup and the incremental method is taking too long, then maybe a differential backup is better as they are quicker to restore compared to incremental backups, but they will require more storage space compared to an incremental backup. Synthetic full backups also have a shorter restore time, but they may not store all the changes to the data, particularly from the oldest backups. So restoring data to very old versions may not be possible depending on how you set up when the synthetic backup creates the updated full version. Also note that if your backup file gets corrupted, then any method using the incremental backups will have a problem restoring the file. Continuous backups are the best way to make sure you have the most up-to-date backups. But if you are storing details of how the files have changed, then this will take up a lot of storage space. And it will also result in a lot of going back and forth between the data, as it is continuously happening. If your backup is on the cloud, then this will have a major impact on your bandwidth. While we're on the topic of backups, let's talk about what other features you may be looking for in your backup software. Scheduled backups. Can it automatically backup your files on a schedule? Storage options. Can you backup to different places like an external hard drive, a cloud service, or a network drive? Data compression. Does it make the backup file smaller to save space? Encryption. Does it keep your backup file secure and private? Versioning. Can it keep multiple versions of your file so you can go back to earlier versions if needed? And restore options. How easy is it to get your files back from the backup? Some common questions I get about backups include how often should you backup your data? This depends on how often you are changing files or adding new files. For most personal data, weekly backups are pretty good. But if you're backing up something important like a school project, you might want to back up more frequently. 
Where should you store your backups? It's a good idea to store backups in multiple places to keep them safe. This can include an external hard drive or a cloud storage service. You want to make sure your backup is also in a different physical location to protect against things like theft or fire. There is no point to storing a backup on the same device that contains the original data. If something happens to this device, you have now lost the original and the backup, and you don't want that. And finally, why should I test my backups? To make sure your backups are working correctly, you should regularly try restoring some files from them. This ensures that you can actually recover your data if something goes wrong. I remember hearing about a university library that backed up all their books details, but when someone asked if the backups actually worked, they found out that they couldn't restore any data from the backups. Luckily, they caught this glitch before an actual disaster. So make sure to test your backups to ensure you're prepared for an actual emergency. Backups are essential to keeping your data safe. And now you know the different types, the key features of backup software, and some general advice from Mr. Long. Now when last did you make a backup of your data or mobile device? If not recently, then what are you waiting for? Go do it now. Quickly, go. If you found this video informative, then make sure you click on that subscribe button to support the channel. Also follow our other YouTube channel at Mr. Long RT and Cat. And remember we're on TikTok at Mr. Long Education as well. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.